Hey everyone, it's Zach from Zach Green's Reptiles. I want to do a quick little video of my 2020 holdbacks this year. They're about six months old. Um, I hope everybody's having a great Thanksgiving. Uh, before we get to them, let's show you the pair that produced them. All right, so first up right here, the little male that you can see, he is the sire. Um, he's actually being paired up with this girl right now, so hopefully we'll get babies next year out of this pair. But that is a sire. He's got an amazing little stripe on him. Great color, nice bright red. He's got that charcoal gray head to him. Just a phenomenal animal. And, and he is actually one that I've produced. And this is the mom to the Bloods. She is a 2010 Martyr Redhead. Actually got her from Kevin Martyr. He is just an absolutely stand-up guy. Produces amazing quality animals. And she is no exception. She's actually ready for food, so let's push that in a little bit. She's got an amazing pinkish red head, great color to her. I really like that neck pattern that she's got going on. And that pink blushing goes about a third of the way down her body. All right, now let's get to the babies. All right, so first up, let's take a look at this girl. As you can see, her color is really starting to come in. She's staying really clean. She's kind of inherited the, the head just like her father. Most of these are really, really well mannered. She's got that amazing stripe to her. Kind of reminds me of a golden eye a little bit. It's a really clean, clean animal. Colors really starting to come in. All those oranges hopefully will turn nice and red. And this is a little female. Let's go to this one right here. It's another little female. Again, she just has an amazing stripe to her. Really awesome pattern. Let's kind of get a better look over here so I don't block the light. There you go. Now you can see her nice colors. Her, um, her pattern is just amazing. It's got really good flaming coming up the sides. That's just going to be amazing as she gets older. It's just going to turn more and more red. Just an absolute phenomenal animal. This, if I haven't already said it, this is a female as well. And this girl just recently shed. Let's move this water dish out of, out of the way a little bit. It's got a really crazy banding pattern, kind of tigerish. Pull her out a little bit. really really nice I just loved how this clutch turned out kind of has a nice yellowish orange hue to them as well so really curious to see how this animal matures out and colors up as she gets bigger so there she is Let's take a look at this guy right here or girl still females check out how clean that head is it's gonna be a really really nice red head
There we go. She has a lot of blushing almost all the way down her body. She's got a really unique color. I'm not entirely sure what to think of it, but, but I do love it. And again, another female. I only held one male back. So out of my six hold backs, there's one male. So call me a little greedy, but that is why I breed. I don't breed for everybody else. I breed for me and I love him. And I keep what I want. I just can't get over how clean and crisp that head is. All right, let's go to the next one. This is a little male. The only male I held back. And he does not really like me very much. So let's really, really clean. Another amazing redhead. I mean, that head doesn't get much better than that. It's got some really nice colors to him, extremely clean. And this guy actually hatched out with a little bit of hard belly. He seems to be doing great. Shed out a couple of times, eats, passes everything fine. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm holding on to him anyways for myself. So we'll see how he does. But still just an amazing animal. Trying to do this one handed. <laughs> and the last blood python holdback is this girl right here. She kind of reminds me of like a copperhead pattern that she's got going on that last half of her body. Really cool animal, really clean, nice blushing. It's got some really nice colors starting to pop out. And if you're on my uh, Facebook page, that right there is the background. It's my banner photo. But yeah, I, I just love how these animals turned out. There was uh, 21 babies in the clutch. I've kept six. And as you can see, I probably would have kept all of them, but I did let some of them go. Some of them went to some good friends, made some really good friends over this clutch as well. All right, and before I let you go, I do have one more hold back, but it is not a blood python. It's a little bamboo ball python produced by a black pastel coral glow het clown bred to a bamboo. So she is a bamboo, possible het clown, possible black pastel, but I am not counting on it. And the reason I'm not counting on it is I am pretty sure that is the black pastel bamboo. You can tell by that nice dark head stamp on them, nice striping, all characteristics of the black pastel. Has some, some of those alien heads starting to really creep through. So I'm pretty sure that one's a black pastel and this one is not. However, I love her. She's just a cool looking animal and she's gonna stay with me. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.